difficult, but uh, I want please, to if you say, say, yes. In that case, thank you so much. You always pour tea for me. The first. thing that I've gotten, you always say thank you. You don't have to. <laughs> thank you so much. From what you've been saying <laughs> is that perhaps, thank you, bro. Perhaps one of the important things that, on a practical level, that I should look at is making sure that, is that okay? I change my lifestyle yes. to accommodate that because that's the most important thing. I, that is such a good point. I didn't think of that. That is such a good way of looking at it. So basically, because you you've given your me something, depending on you listen, say no, your, your parents need. Hadi, yes, uh, really you've yes. given me something very important because um, the reason I do what I do is because number one, it's my obligation. I feel like it's my obligation, but number two, because it is the right thing to do. Um, in that case, it, I'm sure you enjoy you it, Sayyid. Of course, it as of course, well. of course. I'm sure you enjoy it, Sayyid Ali. Uh, bro, of course. Um, look, um, my mum is everything uh, to me in my life. And it's funny that you mentioned the whole concept of kissing a person's hand. There's not a brink of emulation. Um, I don't remember you were at my wedding. Um, I remember. At, at one point, we were, we were cutting the cake. I don't know what was happening. And they were telling me, you know, your mother's just entered the room. Uh, I looked around at everything at that point in my life. And I looked, I, I, I've got the woman of my dreams, uh, I've, the wedding of my dreams. Uh, I'm a much better man than I would have ever thought I would be. Although I'm not great, but you know, you are, when you're you young, are you safe. think. You are safe. Uh, and that burst of emotion when I saw my mother, you know, and they, everyone's wearing dresses and suits and I was, I was wearing a great suit. <laughs> Bro, you actually you were. You I, look so good. I didn't really care about my suit or how much it cost. I went down on my knees and, you know, I went down to kiss her feet. Nice. And I wanted to, because that's how I felt. It wasn't like something to show off. It's just, it was an impulse. Yeah, exactly. You didn't, yeah, you didn't even have to explain that one. Um, <laughs> the thing is, that's why it's really important that we have these weekly gatherings and we discuss things because we learn from each other so much and right now you've given me something so amazing and helpful for me that the kind of person I am, my mom and dad, they are the number one priority in my life. I so always think that means that I need to, sorry, yeah. so go on. make sure that I program my lifestyle to accommodate that thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The way, wanna, that's it. Yeah. And that's what it's I wanted. Just very from quickly, yeah. the way I always see it is what would your parent do if they were in your situation? If they were working in a job role where they, they couldn't take time oh, off yeah. to take you to the hospital. How many mums have dropped their careers for their kids? Right? Just think right. of that. What would, what would they My do? My wife, who's an architect, has dropped her career. I know. Because yeah. we, we decided that wow. she has to raise the kids because we don't want external factors raising yeah. the children. Sure. And it was a so mutual decision. And it wasn't a mutual decision. There you are. And that's a beautiful so, thing, look, by the way. Why do we always think that only the mother sacrifices? What is the father sacrificing in this, is, is sacrifice in this instance? I have to work harder. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> I want to talk about two things. <laughs> yeah. And I want to ask you a question, say it after. Okay. The first thing is, you reminded me of a beautiful story. And I'll make it very brief. Do it. There's an alim who is very successful. And he is still referred to till this day and age, after 40 years of his death, 30 years, 50 years, if not more. Someone asked him, he said, what is the reason for your tawfiq? Why, why, are you, why are you so successful? Because we said success obviously comes, as we all know, in different shapes and forms. Yeah. Sure. This person had knowledge and the way he, he was, he had a critical mind towards any sort of um, historic aspect of religion um, like no other. What is the sir, the secret of your success? What's the major key? <laughs> And uh, he said, I remember when I was younger, my, my mom cooked lunch. And you know, in, back in the day, his father was a alim as well, by the way. Um, around noon time is their nap, they used to take naps. I uh, taught today, probably they still do. Fiesta. Yes. Sister, and um, <laughs> his mother asked him to go and wake his father up mm. from his nap in order for him to eat. He goes, I walked in. And my father was peacefully sleeping. And I felt really guilty to just wake him up. And I didn't want to scare him. And I did. So he goes, I uncovered his foot. And I started rubbing my cheek at the bottom of his foot. 
rubbing it, rubbing it, until my father woke up peacefully. And he gave me a kiss and he said, May Allah give you the best of tawfiq in your life. He goes, this da'wah is what brought me here. Now I ask you this, Sayyid. Do you think that your mother or your father, or I ask this to all of us as well, do you think they expect these things from us? And in return, what do we expect from them? I think that's a key question. Do they expect us to drop everything and go? Do you think so? What do we expect from them in return? It's not a thing about... But what did we expect from them It's not a thing well? about Don't expectation. It's a timeline, right? But can I say something to you, Say, I've got a child now, and I've realized how much hard work it is for a yes. child. Uh, Especially if he runs off the, the thing is, in Regent's Park. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you appreciate it now. The thing is... Yeah. I don't know how to put this, but everything in life is an investment. I'm mm. investing a lot of time in my son at the moment. Mm. And I'll continue to do so until the day that I die. And I feel that my mother has invested... In you. Look, my, without my parents, I'd not be the man I am today. Absolutely. And Goes to a certain extent, you know, I kind of like the man that I am today. <laughs> I kind of like the man you are today. Thank you. <laughs> and 99.9% .9 of that is from mummy and daddy. Now, the, the truth is, I don't know whether they expect it or not, but they invested that time. The best thing, the best thing, the best thing in the world, in my opinion, is when they reach that age and they're over 70 and stuff, is they see that return in the investment. Yeah. And the best way to, for them to see the return in the investment is for me to be the best that I can possibly be towards them. Absolutely. And that is what I want to strive towards. Inshallah, yeah. I want to pay them back all those hard years. Because when I was a teenager, God knows I was an annoying teenager. <laughs> I got into a lot of fights, got into a lot of trouble. And they stuck it, by me. No, I'm a lovely guy now. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, whatever it was, school... They, they stick by you, your parents. It's, yeah. it's something unbelievable. There's a line of poetry and it always gets me and I remember it's in Arabic. It's uh, um, for Abdullah Radir Ali Al-Azhar. Uh, it's a line of poetry read in al Latmiyah by Sayyid Hassan Karbalai. Um, I, I can't remember it word for word, Sayyid Hadi, if you know it, but uh, it's basically Ali Al-Azhar's mum telling him that, you know, I stayed up all those nights with you when you were crying in the crib. And, you know, this, this kind of thing that I did for you, that's, that's, that's like a tidril uh, wifadian wa fini hagirbak. So, you know, for everything that I did raising you in these few months that I was with you, I want you to kind pay of it back to pay it back to me. Pay it back to me, and, and I, that always gets me every time I listen to that uh, piece of poetry because that's that's what we should be doing to our f for our parents. That's a great Latimer, by the way. That one. Yeah, is no, just, it's, it's beautiful. Can I can I just say that you need to learn Arabic. I do, <laughs> I do. I just don't have the time. Oh, I really right. would love to. Um, basically, the, the verse in the Quran that you highlighted. I think we could just we could just take a, a red line and just you know finish it off there. And if I use that as the basis of what I'm gonna say earlier, you asked the brother to give you precise examples of what you do in certain situ situations with, that involve parents. What I've seen that you guys are mostly talking about hospital appointments, you know, taking them, taking time out for them. Let's go to the worst case scenario where your parents are in a dire need. I mean, God forbid there is a disability, you know, some sort of handicap situation and now it's your turn. They've taken care of you, okay? It's your turn now. Your job does not allow you to be away from it for days within a week even, you know? What do you do? And if I can be so up forth and, 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 and say, based on everything what you guys said, and this, this I, I think just, I'm just going further from what you guys have said. Quit, yeah. go on welfare. You know, if you don't have obviously a wife yet, obviously one of you can perhaps work. You know, you can you can bring a balance. You can you can do it. It's about pre-planning. Mm. Quit. You won't have much for a couple of years, two or three years. I mean, may Allah, you know, 
even if increase it's the years. risk, even if it's 10 years. Believe in God and you will get the risk at the end. That's it. And, and again, what you said about that one, Alim, and how the success will reach you through different avenues. This 10 years is a test that Allah has put you in. Because, for example, this disability, disability that your parents had. And I've heard stories and I know people that have given 10 years of their life, they weren't able to go and enjoy themselves. They weren't able to work properly, right? Why? Because they were always at home taking care of their parents, taking them to the loo if they had to. Yeah, I know and now you see them, they have nothing but a smile. Obviously the parents have, you know, passed away. The example I have in my head anyway. Parents have had, but they have a smile on their face and you don't know why. I'm deep. stressed, everybody's around me stressed. Allah has given them something. They are happy about something. You, you don't, you, randomly they're walking by, they're smiling, they're talking to you very nicely, and everybody talks nicely about them. They were like, this man, all they can remember is, he helped his mother out. I remember he someone, had hardship. I always associate him with his bir towards his father. Mm. He has, mashallah, rizq. In, no, he's not a billionaire. I'm not speaking in that aspect. But financially, he was something mm. before his, he did not get, his first child, he, d he decided that he will not get his first child. He got married and he will not get married. Of course, that's even before that until he knows that he can live next to his dad. He can afford a place right next to his dad's house. Mm. He used to live in a pump. He used to sleep on a pump bed in his parents' house. And he, to, he I never used to go to the mosque without me seeing him walk his dad into the mosque. His dad doesn't even, he can't even, he's, he can't even, um, take in everything that's going on around him because he was so sick. And after he passed away, look at him, he's got the most beautiful son, he's got a beautiful life, and he's got financially, he's capable. And like you just said, oh yeah, he's the guy who... Everybody remembers him for such a great but deed. I want to know, in terms of our parents, besides what they expect in terms of our day in, day out sort of life, um, I want to know, one, what do we expect from them in this current life? But before, before we answer that point, I want to know, after they go, what do they expect? That's, that's something that's interesting to look mm. back that's, at. That's yeah. a very good thing. Very good. Yeah. Look, I think in, in, this, in this perspective, um, I don't remember the full hadith by Imam Zain al-Abidin, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And if, I'm, if it's not by Imam Zain al-Abidin, I'm very sorry, but I believe it's from Imam Zain al-Abidin. I'll take a section of it. Where he goes, basically, what do you, what they want to leave behind is a sadaqa jariya, exactly. an ongoing sadaqa, yeah. charity, and al walad al salih, a good son or daughter, a good child, a good child who will always remember them. That's what they. That's the ultimate goal. Right. And I don't think so. We think of it right now. We're talking about our parents, but don't forget, we are at the borderline of being parents, or you're all parents actually. Yeah. I'm at the borderline, inshallah, soon. Um, so what do I expect from them? When I'm gone, I'm expecting them to do the same as what my parents yeah. expect from me to do, but they may not say it because they don't want to burden me. This is when I, when I come to, what do they expect from me? Personally, I think they don't expect anything from us, but to be good, not to bring them shame, yeah. and to be good and to be successful. Mm. I, in my honest heart, I believe if I can't make it to my mom's appointment, if I explain to her mama, oh, I don't think I can, Mama, I don't need you. You don't need to come. She's in dire need for me. Mm. But she'll say that. Mm. Now, in terms of what I expect from my parents, that's also interesting to look into. What do I expect from them? To just love me. <laughs> is that all it? They be, all, all I mean, they really I mean no, but this is now. We're talking about a timeline. We are older than we were. And we to are more To be fair, mature. when we were children, we expected everything from our parents. Thank you very much. To love us to clothe us, to feed us, yeah. to buy us toys, to take us to school, to bring us back. We were reliant on them. So everything, and by the way, when it comes to our birthday, we expect a present. We do, we, whether you like it or not. We, 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 we never used to celebrate at home, but my mom was the only person I still expect used to present. come and bring me a cake. But, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you, you have all these expectations, and they're not all needs. Some of them are wants. And it's just a beautiful thing to look I think there's more own. wants than needs when it comes down to us and our parents when we were younger. No, no, I know, but, yeah. but the fact is when you look back in your timeline, you'll realize that everything you needed, you got, and most of the things you wanted, you probably got too. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember one thing I didn't get. I'm just going to say, because you mentioned something that was emotional, a line of poetry. Um, there's a hadith 
my turn now. Yeah, yeah, go. Ooh. Now, I remember, and <laughs> it's about fired. parents. Um, it's about a, a one of the partners of, of a parent. Okay, I'm messing up. Basically, it's about a mother, and it always gets me. Uh, it's about um, again. I'm I'm going to paraphrase it. Um, it's uh, there was a, a sinful person, very very sinful person, came to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and asked, um, "I've done this and this, and I messed up, and I've you know etc. How can I?" be forgiven and um, Rasulullah said um, go and worship your not worship um, become sort of a slave to your mom just follow her whatever she needs her wants fulfill them just become her slave in a way I am obviously paraphrasing and but the, but the man said uh, my mother's passed away he's like do you have a father he said yes I have a father he's like go just follow him around, whatever he needs, whatever he needs to do. Do astaghfar and Allah will forgive you. So he goes away, he takes his advice from Rasulullah, goes away. Rasulullah was sitting next to one of his companions, I don't know who it was. And Rasulullah turns around and says to him, I wish his mother was alive. And because the, um, and that tells you the, the status position of, of a mother, mother so, so in, in Islam. Is so, so, wish his mother so should we have expectations, is it wrong to have expectations from our parents? I want to know that. I mean, what kind for of like expectations? Birthday, yeah. birth, are you talking birthday present, birthday cake? Or what no, kind of is it wrong for me to have expectations? <laughs> so let's say I'm a teenager. No, because there are obligations of a parent, of course. Even Islamic. Oh, speaking, absolutely. There are obligations. One of the parents. first one is to give you a good That's name true, when you're born. Hakuk, right? yeah. yeah. One thing I actually uh, I asked my mum um, before I got married. Uh, I went to my mother and I I, I asked her. I was like, I want you to be happy with my marriage. I want you to bless it. Mm. Because I don't want you ever to think, you know, I'm not happy with him marrying her or in this relationship. I want you to bless it. If you are, are not happy with it, I will not go ahead and even proceed with this marriage. And she was like, no, Ali, I'm happy with it. I bless your marriage. I'm really happy. That's one of the main things I actually wanted from her. Because to me, it's important that the mother is happy with with your choices, with who you're going to marry, because this is going to be your family afterwards. And it's funny that I know a friend of mine as well. He, every time, you know, people need something, they need someone to do du'a for them, they would go specifically to him. Because he always looks after his disabled mother. He's always with her. He's always pushing her in the wheelchair, always looking after her. And when I had problems with my, my wife bringing her over to the UK, visa issues, I went explicitly to him. I told him, Sayyid, pray for me. And he was like, why me? I said, don't worry, just you, nobody else. Pray for me. Because I know his prayers would be accepted uh, because of his obedience to his mother. And it worked at the end. And it worked, alhamdulillah. Yeah. That's actually yeah. quite clever. Remember what you did there. Yeah. <laughs> Are you not going to tell us who it is? Because we, no, we, <laughs> we need something. I, it's a secret. I already gave away half of it. He's a Sayyid, so that's it. So, so we should. Look we, should have it. we should have expectations. Uh, we should look for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> What's so, so we, we should, should have, have expectations. We should have expectations from our parents. Yeah, we should. But realistic yes. ones, in yes. my opinion. Yes. Yes, but it depends realistic on what ones age and you ones are. That go hand to hand to what, 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 yes. what the Islamic obligations are. Okay, really. and no, but then it also depends on you. Sometimes, what age like you, are you know, you want more from your parents. Is that wrong? Oh, if you are no. transgressing, I mean, then like, yes, like that's what wrong. What are you talking about, though? <laughs> Whatever's been classified as. I don't know. I don't know what is. Yeah, I mean, what is the? Can they afford it? Can they? Were you asking for? It's not yeah. financial. Yeah. Sometimes. No, no, financial. Yeah, in a logical way. Yeah. yeah, I agree. No, it should be logical. Yes, that's that's the kind of answer. Yeah, be reasonable. For. But at the same time, they are expecting something in return, you won. even if they don't won. ask for it, right? He won. He which won. is to be, <laughs> which is to be good. What did I win? Two points. For you're gonna pay saying. for the you're gonna pay for the meal tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations! I don't buddy. mind. I don't mind. I said because I'm coming. I'm late. getting quite hungry actually. Let's uh, <laughs> order the most expensive thing. That's oh, it. I'm feeling generous today. Going all in. Yeah, go on, I'm wearing safe green. Waiter. <laughs>